Hi right, guys, I'm doing another video for a Path of Exile build I'm doing. I'm in the new uh, Essence League. I, I really love this game. That's why I keep like making videos on this from time to time. So we'll do like a quick video of this. So when I started this league, I did like a weird like Righteous Fire Discharge character. And it was like, it was okay. But then Pat wanted to re-roll. Uh, and uh, with Pat as my friend. And uh, yes, uh, so I decided to make, um, uh, I, I call it, it was a glass cat. And so I called it Glass Lap. And uh, ended up actually being pretty cool uh, of a character. So, uh, two auras I'm running are Clarity and Arctic Armor. Uh, Arctic Armor just to mitigate stuff when I'm standing still. It is a Flame Blast build. It is a Flame Blast Prolif build. Uh, with uh, how much? Uh, what's my chance to ignite? Uh, it's 99% pretty much. Uh, and then I have Flammability Element Weakness. I have two curses. On my offhand, I have Temporal Chains and Feeble in case the boss is difficult. Which is usually not the case. Uh, this person one hits everything. And as for my skill tree, it kind of looks like a little bit like this. Um, I mean, I, I, I have a lot of viewers on my channel for anyone who knows a lot about Path of Exile. Uh, but they, a lot of people who watch my videos don't know about Path of Exile, so I like to explain stuff a little bit further. Um, basically, the amount of life I took is pro probably pretty pitiful, but this is a softcore build. I mean, you could probably take out a lot of the fire damage you got up here and get into the Cyan Life Wheel, I suppose. But anyways, I um, I end up doing el element to overload, and the way I trigger that is I have a cast on damage taken level one, immortal call low level, and then GMP with uh, ice spear, and ice spear procs the forty percent more elemental damage if you've crit in the last eight seconds because they these things crit, and then thus my flame blast here has even more elemental damage most of the most of the time most of the time is the way it works. Uh, I have also in skeletons just because it's like the only Vol skill I can use. Um, I mean, I, I mean, I could use other ones, but like that's the one I have, so I, I just got lazy. Um, it's a five link right now. Flame blast, control destruction for less crit but more spell damage. Chance to ignite, conch effect, uh, which you could do increased AOE as well, uh, which would probably be better for clearing because it's like a really small pitiful flame blast. But to be honest, I don't know. I, like, it really doesn't need that much damage. I could try swapping it out, because I think I have a low-level one I'm trying to level right now. And increased burning, because it is a Perleff build. Uh, and then my uh, other... Oh, I also have the Cloak of Flame, which is a armor that converts some physical damage as fire damage. I also have the Rise of the Phoenix to maximize my fire resistance. So uh, it mitigates a lot of physical, as well as Reflect, because uh, this is a kind of a one-shot build. I use Dorianus Catalyst, for extra elemental damage and a little bit of leech. Um, some Just some weird fingerless silk gloves that I got with flame golem, lightning golem, which I have the thing, the, uh, the, um, what's that thing called? Um, the, whatever the thing, the, the, the labyrinth reward for two, my ascendancy, yes, my ascendancy for two golems. As well as clarity, and there's the arctic armor. Uh, the belt is mediocre. And I actually use, I use Combs Roots, actually, believe it or not. Um, and I'm getting messaged, one sec. Alright, sorry about that. Um, so, what was I on about? Yeah, I use the Combs Roots just because I don't really need movement speed. I just need life, because this, this build has, like, absolutely no survivability whatsoever, because it was meant to be a glass cannon. But I managed, I managed to pull out 4k life. I have Mind Over Matter, so when I get hit by stuff, 30% um, of my damage goes towards mana. So just consider myself having a, an extra 1,000 life, uh, effectively. So it's like a 5,000 life build. That's only one hit, so when, like, degen, d degen doesn't hit you, uh, if it's a degen, degen damage, so that, that hurts a lot for this build. I got some uh, AoE nodes, uh, just so Flame Blast uh, has a bigger AoE and things like that. All the burning nodes, because we're a pro left build. Um... A little bit of spell damage, a little bit more mana when I can, whenever I could pick it up. Some scas speed, uh, basically that. Um, as I said, this could easy, easily be restructured into some kind of uh, build for hardcore. Like it works really well. Oh, and also for my ascendancies, I chose a uh, uh, Paragon of Cal Calamity was kind of a must uh, when you get into Merciless because you need that less reflect damage taken, or else you'll kill yourself all the time. Um, also. For each dam uh, element you've been hit by of damage recently, 40% increased damage. That procs a lot, because whenever I take any kind of physical damage, that converts into fire damage because of my Cloak of Flame. So it's interesting how that kind of mechanic works. And I got Shape of Desolation, which is uh, my... I have a Complex, which is a, 
Uh, essentially, I always chill, I always shock, or I always ignite. Well, I ignite always anyways, or I do all, all, all three for two seconds. It just kind of rotates between it. It's weird. Uh, Beacon of Ruin is something I use to prolif, um, which is kind of spread the burning damage to other enemies. That's how I keep, uh, that's how I'm able to keep my, my, uh, my, uh, length so small and why I can use even Conquer Effect to begin with. And then there's this one, which is, uh, more damage for each golem I have and the buffs are increased. One of them gives me damage, one of them gives me attack speed, so it's quite nice. Alright, so I'm gonna put this in the middle of the video because I forgot to mention this stuff. My average damage with Flame Blast is, uh, 4,818, and that is with, um, you times that by roughly, I think, about 10. And I guess that's my average damage per Flame Blast. The thing is, it seems to be much more than that. Uh, and also I can, like, proc on, uh, Shocking Complex, which uh, will make it do much more damage. This is just the base in the worst case scenario, but it still one-hits literally everything, so... Um... Maybe not at Zuri, though. No, it doesn't do at Zuri. Uh... Not, this is not a Zuri build at all, in the slightest, but that's generally the amount of average damage. You can probably, you can more, you can get more than that. There's no question about that. But I found that this was more than enough, um, base damage for me. Uh, the other things I'll show you is my resistances are, uh, 40, 84 percent, 75, 75. So, uh, I'm very highly maxed on fire resistance and the other ones are just kind of whatever. I also have a high amount of chaos resistance. I just kind of managed it on my gear. Uh, the blocking is not really an issue. Uh, the thing about cannot be stunned, so my mana regen I managed 133, um, for my, uh, mana pool here. Now the thing about cannot be stunned, now that's a pretty important thing. Actually I have, uh, no physical reduction almost whatsoever. Uh, so that's like, uh, uh not, not, uh, not a very uh, good thing. So, one of the reasons I use Combs Roots is one of the things it gives me is unwavering stance, uh, which I did, I failed to mention in the other part. And what that is, is that's, that's actually this keystone over here, for anyone who doesn't know. It's a, uh, cannot evade enemy attacks, but cannot be stunned. So I give up my ability to evade anything. However, I can't be stunned. And when you do a channeling spell like this, uh, not getting stunned out of it is actually pretty good. Um, and I think I didn't show you this link. This is, uh, Lightning Warp Less Duration, Faster Casting. Uh, and I just have Flame Blast on a 5 link right now. I have Fire Pen for the last link, potentially, but, uh, you know... Like, increased AoE or faster casting both would work out really well for this. And just to show off some more offensive things, Chance to Ignite, 89%. Uh, it, was, it was 99 in the video, but I've already run through the Labyrinth. Whoops, I showed you what I got uh, from the Labyrinth, so there you go with that. Um, you got some 2% Leech, uh, Critical Strike Multiplier is nothing because of Elemental Overload. Uh, cast Speed Modifier, 68%. Uh, that's pretty much it. Fire Pen is uh, 5%. Uh, so, oh, one of the interesting interactions, um, I'm hoping I'm putting this after this, I show off this, is, um, uh, Beacon of Ruin, which elemental, this is an elemental prolif ability, it does not appear to be affected by local links, like, uh, concentrated effect or increased AoE, and it also doesn't affect, be affected by, uh, uh, area of effect, uh, changes from the skill tree either, it's just its own thing. Uh, set to 12. I'm not sure if that's actually the case. I don't know. Like, I've read about it. I've heard conflicting things, so I don't really know how to really talk about that at all, but uh, yeah, it's pretty much uh, this build in a nutshell, so sorry about that. I, I just kind of I realized I forgot this after I did the video, so uh, um, carrying on. Uh, let me transition back. So I figure I'll do some endgame uh, labyrinth uber lab for you uh, to show off the build, and um so you'd think my movement speed is actually fairly slow, because my base movement speed is uh, negative six. Um, not a very good movement speed. However, we don't we don't actually move like that. We use lightning warp. This is how we move this build, because it's fast. It's it's even faster than people with like uh, quicksilvers, you know. It's actually pretty cool shit. So I could go here and I'd prolifts onto them. This also hurts a lot. This is a softcore build. It's meant to be glass cannony. That kind of just lightning warp into the middle of them, do something like that. The golems rarely die anymore because it's, uh... As I said, it's a very, uh, glass cannony build. But, oh no, well, the golems don't die because that, that they don't take any elemental damage at all. So I think I've done this lab layout already. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have. So this is Uber Lab, which is a... I don't know how it compares to with most builds, but this build really doesn't have an issue with it. Uh, it's very good at running the lab. Um... 
I have done one run of Auxury, uh, mostly with my friend Pat, um, who is our my resident. He's doing like a totem or kind of like slamming on the ground kind of thing of Bob. Uh, how do we get to this? Oh, I have to go this way. So these, uh, oh, let's try not dying. Okay, apparently that's going to be very impossible for me because I keep running into this shit. I'm the worst at running labs. I have never died to traps uh, for a long time. Ever since, the, ever since the, I think only in like the first couple of lab runs I did I actually die to traps and now I don't. Now these are, uh, oh, I will defeat your warming, roaming warbands. Some prophecy I have. So we just kind of run through everything. I mean, it's funny because even my uh, my ignite thing. Sorry, my uh, my lightning warp ignites them too sometimes, which is great. So normally um, this guy would be pretty difficult, probably, uh, but we're gonna just uh, probably one hit him. Yeah, he ignited, and then we're gonna do one more. Probably do one more on top of that. And he's just overlapping tech, so we kind of just beat him just like that. I, I don't know. I can't, I have no base of comparison just because, uh, I, uh, I, th I've only done a Righteous Fire build, but I didn't do Uber Lab with that guy, so. I don't think I've ever run Uber Lab until this league, because this is, um, it was introduced last league. So. I have an increased AoE leveling, though. I should probably just stop running into traps, but I just literally do not care. I'm trying to actually just rush through this as fast as possible. This is how I normally do the lab, actually. With health almost at zero. If you play a lot of hardcore, you must be cringing like hell right now. But this is how this is how software works, guys. I just don't really have the patience to uh, deal with uh, death anymore. I don't know. You know, all the leagues are basically the same now anyways, so... That's the thing. This character hasn't died that much, though. I think, like, ten times. And as I said, for a Glass Kennedy character, that's probably pretty good. But that was mostly early on, when me and Pat were just, like, uh, kind of dealing with shit that, uh, didn't need to be taken. So I kind of, for the most part, I ignore these mobs, but... I'm just gonna... You see, you just little flame blasts just work fine, you see. Little minuscule flame blasts. I can do it. Alright, we gotta tend to get these levers. Lever number two. Do a little bit of a bigger one. And there's our golden key. By the way, guys, I'm gonna have to leave in like just a second because I'm actually cooking dinner at this very moment. It's a very delicious wings, dude. I got, I gotta get it, the wings. But uh, you get the gist of the build at this point. But we're gonna finish this all the way. This lab run. So it's basically three. For anyone who hasn't played this game, the Labyrinth is a place where you can get... So you see that like little mini skill tree thing I have here? Uh, that's uh, why you run the Labyrinth, uh, is to get uh, skill points into that, but you only get it once per difficulty. And, th and there's three difficulties in the game, so you also get one when you do the Uber Lab, uh, which is the, this is the most difficult version of this Labyrinth thing that exists. Oh, whoops. Maybe I shouldn't do this. Yeah. So I'm just trying to... By the way, the lava usually hurts. So it is lightning warping through that thing. Okay. My uh, my golems are dying, so I'm going to have to just resummon them quickly. So well, mostly everything dies. I don't even have to charge up Flame Blast. I, I don't think it's this way. Let me try going this way first. Yeah, I think it's more like this way. Oh, there's a rare here. So I've been actually considering, so since you've been watching the video up to now, uh, I don't know if you're if you're a regular viewer of mine, I've been considering to do like a tutorial run of Path of Exile if you're interested in maybe getting into this game, because it's a very, it's an awesome ARPG. One of the best I've ever played. This is why I keep coming back to it, it's because I just love it. So I was wondering if any of you were interested in me doing a tutorial run of this uh, game, uh, to explain to you some of the mechanics. Let me just destroy the charges. This guy fucking hurts, though. 
Okay. He almost killed me because I was, wasn't like I wasn't playing that perfectly. This is actually taking much less time than I thought it would. I thought I'd have like an entire like 30 minute video, but this is me just rushing through the labyrinth, guys, with the uh, lightning warp. It can be kind of janky given the fact that I'm uh, playing. Fuck! I need to kill some stuff. Okay, there we go. Because I, I need to get my flash charges back. So I've been considering to do a tutorial run of the game, and I think I'm pretty w well aware of how to do it. I don't know if any of you would be interested in that, if you're thinking about getting into this game, but don't understand what the fuck I'm doing half the time. And, like, the game has had a lot of additions. Uh, the thing that's important to know is it's a completely free-to-play game. Not free-to-play as in, like, oh, they're gonna, like, have a shit ton of microtransactions. No, the microtransactions don't matter. Uh, they're just like a bunch of cosmetic things. Uh, it is actually, in terms of all the free-to-play games I've ever played, it's the most, like, even TF2 is more kind of like they want money out of you than anything. Kind of thing, because they have the actual weapons. There's nothing locked behind anything. that, and it, Like, all the content I've gotten here are, is basically I got it legitimately, you know? Through finding it or buying it off people or things like that. There's no, uh, I can't, I can't uh, phone up the developers of this game and get them to give me a... Uh, a really cool, unique item. You know? They won't do that for you. I think my lightning golem's getting a bit low. Sometimes happens when you get to go through the lab like too much. So my character may not be the fastest character, but it is the cutest. Uh, I don't know why I went this way. I don't know why I'm getting hit by literally every fucking trap here. And even that one. I hate the fucking slow zombies because it l reduces the time of my lightning warp. I've been hoping to get a really nice enchant, which is another reason you run the lab. So even though I got the the last uh, the last point, I'm trying to get some nice rolls on my on my boots there. And that guy's dead. I don't give a fuck what he dropped. Oh, there's another ghost. Might as well. What the hell is there so many ghosts here for? Oh my god, there's a shit ton of them. Uh, guys, I oh, know he didn't make. He died. Two stone ring. That's actually worth picking up. So you can see, once in a while, I proc my immortal call and my uh, ice spheres. And if you actually look at the top, you can see me uh, rotating through chilling conflux, and now it's doing shocking conflux. Damn it! Let me through here. Let's do that. Just rotates through all of them. Uh, all the kinds of uh, pro lifts I can do. Where there's a golden key, there must there be a must golden be door. Golden. So this character kind of does everything really fast. The speedy Gonzalez character. It really gets your adrenaline going. And this is why moving speed boots literally do not help me. Let the day dawn. Golden. Oh, this guy's elemental reflector. We've got to charge a full one, guys. Literally doesn't hurt me. I mean, this is level 75 area, so maybe that's not a really good indication of anything. But here's the final one. So this is like a sort of endgame boss-ish guy. Not very that much. That much endgame. As I, said, I don't know how much trouble people have with him. He's almost dead. And we've done it, guys. And what do we get out of this one? Oh, shit. Ton of fucking resources. Oh, no, I want the scour. Fuck! Can I not pick it up? There we go. I'm way too fast for that. All right, we're going to enchant my boots. What did I get? 10% increased movement speed if you haven't been hit recently. That's pretty good for non-movement speed boot boots. I'm going to take that. So that brings me up to plus four, actually. Oh, that makes me happy, actually. That, that was actually one of the ones I was hoping for, to get just a bit of movement speed to get me through towns and stuff. Uh, yeah, so it's just plus four all the time. Oh, that's amazing. All right, well, you know, happy ending to this one. Uh, Short-ass video, but what are you going to do? Uh, I mean, I don't think I have much else to show with, with regards to this build, so... I hope you liked it, and let me know what you think about me doing an entire series. It's not going to happen right away, maybe with a new league or something. 
Uh, I might do a, a complete series on this stuff, but um, to, to, you know, if you're interested in learning the game, I would actually do like a single player kind of walkthrough sort of thing. So uh, let me know what you think. And that's uh, the build I've created here, which I, I had a lot of fun building. So I want to show it off. All right, thanks everyone for watching and take care. Goodbye.